Hey you guys, so it's your girl April and I'm gonna be doing a wig video today for Diva's Wigs. This video was actually recorded back in July, so I do have a couple of more videos that I do need to get out that are probably a few months old. And I also wanna say thank you to everyone once again for all the love and condolences as well as the support. I love you guys all so much and I don't know what I would do without you guys. So thank you for everything. As you guys see, this wig comes with a wig cap, an adjustable strap, combs, and it also comes with an elastic band that you can remove. This is their Cameo Lace Front Wig, which is Cameo Knots, which means that once you get the wig, you will not have to do anything but put it on. However, prior to this video, I did pre-pluck it and I did need to add a little bit more bleach to the unit because there was some speckles of knots that I didn't notice. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. This is their 100% um, Indian virgin hair. The length that I got is 22 inches in the natural color. It is 150% density and this hairline is the upgraded realistic hairline. So as I stated, I did bleach a little bit more of it and I also did pluck the hairline. Even though it was pre-plucked for me, you know, I just wanted to make it look a little bit more natural. And as you guys see on the inside of the cap, there are the combs and this is um, the bleaching that they have done. I did have to put a little bit of purple shampoo to it. And this is also the inside, or excuse me, the back of the nape where the adjustable straps are at. Along with that on the sides right there is where you can use the elastic band that they have provided for you. You can either wear it with or without and it is also adjustable. So that way, if you want it really, really tight, girl, you can give yourself the best wig headache ever, okay? so. So the parting in the unit is six inches and if you can see on the side where I did part it at it was a little bit over bleached or over processed on their end I only bleached the front portion like the very front where the hairline was at because it was speckles but there was just one spot in the unit that I noticed that was a little bit over processed and it looks like a little bit of the bleach seeped through onto the hair this mistake can easily be um, corrected with just a little bit of hair dye. You know, you can take your little toothbrush or a little brush or a sponge and you can just dab some dark hair dye onto it and it'll be fine. It won't be noticeable and, you know, you won't see it. But I did not notice that really until I put the wig on, you know, so, you know. It is what it is. But other than that, the hair texture is gorgeous. Divas Wigs does have some really nice units. And like I said, this is their Cameo Knots. And they're six inches of parting. And there are loads of coupon codes. So I will definitely post them down below for you guys. So I did style this, as you guys can see, off camera. Because I just thought that you guys have seen enough of me styling. It's kind of like the same thing. But if you want me to do more of those type of videos, I'll definitely, you know, include the curling process in into my videos but for right now we're just gonna take some small scissors and they are curved scissors and we're just gonna cut the lace off try not to cut too close to the hairline because you don't want any of the hairs to fall out if you do cut too close to the hairline then you will need to just you know make some new hairs if any of the hairs fall out so just keep that in mind so i just went ahead and cut the lace and now i'm just looking at the sides where the ear tabs are at and as you notice the lace does kind of like overlap my hair or my ears so in order for the wig to fit perfectly and flat to your head you want to make sure that you know if there is any excess lace like over flapping your ear just make a part like you see me doing right here with either a rat tail comb or something that you know will give you a nice straight part. Make sure you always have clips, you guys. I tell you that all the time because they do come in handy for holding the hair when styling or cutting or whatever. And you just take your scissors and you just cut right into that part. And that way your lace wig will fit right above your ear to ears and it will be a lot flatter to your head. And so I do that on the opposite side. Some wig companies you will need to cut because they are average size wigs, so each person's head circumference is different um some wigs you will have to cut some you don't some just a tiny bit it all depends so this is the favorite part this is where you know you guys know i have to have sideburns and i have to have some type of wispy hairs but the lace on this unit is is just impeccable like it's very kind of like transparent i did get a light brown color lace but it's very very like transparent and all i do is just spray some of my got to be glam forest hairspray on it which i absolutely love along with that i'll blow 
dry it. Sometimes I don't blow dry it, but if you don't have a blow dryer, you can just spray a little bit of this hairspray in small sections at a time, and it dries super quick. Within a minute, it's dry. So if you don't have a blow dryer, just spurts in little sections and just use your rat tail comb or something flat just to press it down. Um, the whole holding time frame using the got to be glam force in the pink can i would say i can keep a wig on sometimes for like up to five days especially if i um tie it down at night but definitely it holds to me a lot better than the freeze blast now it's time to cut my sideburns you know it's all up to you what your preference of length is but i don't really like them too long not too short but you know just right and along with that just cut me in some wispy hairs you know and you just repeat that on the opposite side now you can save 25% off of all of their full price 360s and lace front wigs using the code MS25 and I'll definitely post that down below for you guys along with many other coupon codes. This wig is called Bella and she is 22 inches if I forgot to mention that and she is the heavy density which is 150. I'm thinking it was like 180 but um, for the length it is a little... Um, for the length the price is around 300 um the shorter the hair the less it is so just keep that in mind but plus you can use some coupon codes as well and save some money you could also follow diva wigs on their social media which is instagram facebook and pinterest and i'll definitely post all of that below for you guys and now as you guys seen i just take the hairspray and i spray it on my toothbrush to make my wispy hairs because sometimes if you spray it directly on the hair it'll make the hair hard wet and stiff and then it's a lot harder to brush so i just spray a little bit on the toothbrush sometimes i'll spray it on the hair it all depends on you know how i'm feeling and how the hair is acting but i think the wig is actually really really pretty like i said diva's wigs has some really nice wigs and unfortunately in that one area where i have parted it at there was a little speckle of bleach which seeped through the unit but no big deal i will show you guys um a few minutes later where there the wig is actually fine it's just in that one area and had i known that when i was parting it then i would have not or when I was styling it I would have not parted it right there but you know that is a mistake and I'm glad you guys were able to see that like I said you can easily fix that up with some hair dye permanent or non-perm or semi-permanent either way you can definitely fix that up or you can just use a sharpie so this is the other portion of the side of the wig where um, it is also bleached and it's not that bad on this side you know if it is a little bit too light for your liking you can always use some of the tinting spray uh, for lace wigs um, which I really do like that product a lot but you do get a lot of parting space in this unit the hair is soft and like I said it was pre-plucked the hairline was good on it but for me I needed to be a little bit more to my preference so I always thin them out even though they do come pre-plucked I do like them to be a little bit more natural looking in the front with the pre-plucked hairline so I just you know put my own little spin on it but you know you can definitely part this anywhere in the front and even though it's not a 360 you can definitely put it up in a ponytail or a bun so you guys that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it it was super quick and fast I will definitely post all the information down below for you guys i want to say thank you once again for all the love and support from each and every one of you guys and i'll see you guys in the soon to come video bye